What's going on everybody, Birdlastbeat here, back again uh, for a Python tutorial. So, today in this video we will be talking about lists, alright? So, uh, there are four data types in Python, So and today we will be talking about lists. So, what are lists in Python? Alright, so in Python, lists are like strings, okay? They're like strings, and you can operate many functions on them, alright? So, we will be doing a program, and you will see... A bit of how it works. I'll give this. I put the link in the description, the link to this web page on the description. So if you want to know more about the list, you can check it out. All right. So let's jump to the program straight away. So we will create another file, another Python file, and the program we will be doing. It's gonna be a sh very short program. So it will be the palindrome. Okay. So let's name it palindrome. All right. So for the people uh, who don't know what the palindrome is, okay, let's let me give you an example. So suppose you a palindrome is when you have the same thing from the beginning till the end. I mean, from the left from the left corner to the left to the right corner is the same. And when you go plus and minus, okay, let me give you an example. So suppose you have one, one, two, two, three. All right. So if you take one. And one, that's the same. Two, two, that's the same. So from here, it doesn't matter. See, it doesn't matter if you're starting from here. If you're starting from here, you write one, two, three, two, one. And if you're starting from here, you write one, two, three, two, one. So this one and this one are the same. All right. So that's what a palindrome is. So now let's jump to the program. Uh, so for the palindrome program, we need to create uh, a string, all right? Because lists are like string. So let's say, let's name it. Um, let's just name it how? Let's just name it my string, okay? So my string equals. We can raw input it, but we will do input. Input. What am I? What am I typing? Input. And we'll say enter this uh, enter the string, all right. So then we will it will need to be reversed. So if the reversed uh, string equals the normal string, that's when it's a palindrome. So let's name it Reef Reef string. Okay, let's name it this way. Reef string equal. We will do now. Uh, we'll use the function reversed. That is a list function. All right. So reverse of the of the first string that's going to be stored. So the reverse, the reversal of this one, of this one, will be put in the, into this one. So if the the re, the reverse string equals this string, then it's a palindrome. All right. So it's a very simple program. All right. Uh, so if you say if uh, one one thing here, you won't be able to use uh, the direct variable because it's gonna take it as a string. All right, so you need as the function is used here, as the function is used, you'll have to convert this one into a, to make it explicit. All right, so you say list of my string equals list. Oh, mistake. Give me a second here. List of Rev string, all right. So, and now we just have to print. Uh, what do we print? Mm. It's a palindrome, all right. In the else case, we'll say print, print. It's not a palindrome, all right. So, this is it about the program. So let's run it and see how it works. All right, so we hear and they say, ah, always. All right, doesn't matter. So let's say one, two, three, one, no, two, one, all right? And it's a palindrome. Yes, it is. So let's run it again. We can run it again here. And we'll say one, two, three, one, two, three. And that is not a palindrome. So that's it about uh, the the list. You can 
If you want more about the list, the link is in the description. You can find more about that. So uh, thanks a lot for watching the video till the end. And if you liked it, please leave a thumb below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.